How's it going guys? If you're watching this video, I'm pretty sure you're having trouble with your Wacom tablet. Just like I was. After endless days of frustration, sleepless nights, cold sweats, everything, you name it, I was having. Um, this is, there's a screenshot of, uh, of the conversation me and customer support were having. Uh, I sent them uh, this picture where I would get the I would get the pop-up center loading but nothing would happen and then I would get this pop-up which is which is this one after that he sent me a link of uh, how to uh, how to um, pretty much uh, try to resolve anything that uh, was going on. So um, they said if I had a, a clean my Mac software or malware bytes, any of those apps to, uh, to uninstall them because that may be preventing the Wacom to be working uh, as it should. But I don't, I just got this, uh, laptop so I haven't really downloaded anything so that I did not have on my computer so after that I watch endless YouTube videos well not endless there's only like maybe a handful four or five and they all talk about the same thing so they would say to go to um To go to uh, privacy settings, privacy and security, and then go to input monitor monitoring. Make sure everything, make sure everything is uh, on. That's what I did. Everything was on. Same thing with the accessibility. Everything was on. Everything was perfectly, perfectly good on my end. But I was still wondering why isn't this going through? Everything's checked. Everything should be working perfectly, but it but it's not. So um, so after um, and th this this screenshot right here is um, it's Wacom Desktop Center. So it's basically this one right here, the Wacom Tablet Utility. So when you click on it. You get this app on the YouTube videos. They do show um, how to uninstall it and and back it up and everything. On their part, everything was working good. It, it just wasn't working on my end. So basically, though, you'll have to unlock this lock and then back up your stuff and then uninstall. But when I would do that. Um, the page would just freeze it wouldn't do anything so so I noticed that something was wrong so I force closed it because it, it started taking about over three minutes to open up but that was way too long for an app to open so that's when I went to um I went to uh to force quit applications and you could find that right here on the apple logo you go to force quit and then you'll get this pop-up and um and basically it's this and i noticed that the welcome desktop center was not responding so you click it and then you force quit and then it'll pretty much just close everything out but even if i tried reopening reopening it it was it was the same outcome it would freeze force close it again so i was pretty much frustrated at this point and uh, i pretty much figured it out after uh, navigating through all the settings um and here is what i did i went to uh, general at some point i went to sharing and I saw that blue sh uh, Bluetooth sharing was off. I figured maybe that's the cause, but negative. 
so I went back I turned it off and um, it's still it's still here in general but you go to login items you're gonna see this this box right here when I clicked on it it was empty I came down to uh, Wacom I saw Wacom here and this one was off so I figured, hmm, everything else is good except this one. Hopefully, I crossed my fingers and I said, hopefully this is it. I turned it on, came back over here. I added the file. I click on the plus sign. Here it is. If it doesn't show, you can just go right here, search it. It should be right there, Wacom tablet. And it should pop up. You click open. I'm not going to do it on mine because I already have it installed. And then there it is. You have it. Once I did that, as soon as I did that, I closed I closed this out. Came to um came to the Wacom Center and I crossed my fingers and I tapped it and and then right away, boom, all the information popped up. You know, my my tab that's here and um, and there it is. It started working. Just for example, here's a tablet. Here's a tablet. So every time every time I would connect or well, every time I would turn it on, it'll say on the screen uh, connected but it would still not work so now or even when i would turn uh the touch the touch function i would turn it off turn it back on i will get nothing on the display before when i was working prior to this whole incident and i will get pop-ups like right now off turn it back on on I will not be getting those. All I would get is the the Bluetooth connectivity, where it shows uh, it's uh, either connected or connection lost. That's the only thing I would get. And now, I'll, I'm, now I'm getting everything. And um, as you can see, I'm, I'm gonna use uh, the tablet now. Can you see the cursor over there on the screen? So now everything's working perfectly. So hopefully, hopefully this works for you guys. And um, well, welcome back to the game. Now you guys can go back to drawing, editing, or whatever, whatever the case may be. But there it is. You're welcome, guys.